in the kitchen with Dyla. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dyla. Strong on the old banjo. Be kind, fiddle I -o. Be kind, fiddle I -o. Be by fiddle I -o. Strumming on the old banjo. Someone's in the kitchen with Dyla. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with diners Strumming on the old banjo Be fine, Okay, this is definitely northwest. <laughs> I say definitely, and then I cannot say that with any amount of confidence. My heart is leaning Virginia. Don't know why. And I'm definitely wrong about that, but, you know, it's just my gut. And I'm trying to, I'm, you know what, I'm trying to get better at trusting my gut. So I'm going to go Virginia. I'm going to go Virginia. Um, I'll go towards Charlotte's. No, 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 no. This definitely seems more mountainous. This is definitely more mountainous, so maybe up more towards the whatever range this is. I don't know. You know what? You know what? The gut feeling went away. It could be. It actually seems like it could be closer up towards Canada. Oh, man. I'm becoming less and less sure as I go on. I'm a, fuck it. You know what? I'm sticking with Richmond. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go somewhere between. Yeah, I'm gonna go closer to R Richmond because it seems like a bigger. Ah, uh, wow, wow. Oh, I even. Did you you heard me in the beginning. I said this seems like it's northwest. Northwest <laughs> seems like it's northwest. Oh, it's Spokane. Okay, well Stonehenge is easy. That's in. That's it's uh it's like uh it's like uh, uh, uh it's just it's fucking you get it it's somewhere around here just it's fucking it's goddamn i want to get it exactly though just, just fuck it F fucking fuck it yeah you fucking got it it's off the a303 and it's way north of salisbury i don't know why I keep thinking it's Salisbury. I'm so sorry. Shit. Shit, man. This is the... the That's the... The shit... The, it's the cathedral... In Spain? Right? Uh, Valencia? Valencia? It's probably in Italy, right? It's probably like in Rome, Italy. Right? Yeah, it's Florence? Yeah, Piazza... Piazza Dale... Michelangelo? I only got 12 fucking points. Oh, this is that place where they did that shit at. I'll just go with Rome, Italy. I'll just go with Rome, Italy. <laughs> Two Italy guesses in a row. Alright. It's an Arles. And it's the, uh... The Theatre Antique de Arles. Okay, well, that one's easy. It's in North Dakota. It's pretty sure it's somewhere around there. Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Wow! Wow! Okay, well, that one's in fucking Dubai, which is in, uh. It's in the UAE. And that is. That is here. Okay. Okay. I'm now a master tourist. I don't even know what the fuck a master tourist is. How do you? How are you a master at going to places? All right. All right. I'm feeling Madagascar. I'm feeling Madagascar. You know what? And I actually feel kind of decent about that. I've seen the movie a lot. I was uh Eastern Thailand. All right. All right. This one I'm feeling Bulgaria. Go somewhere around Varna maybe. No 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 no. We'll go around Rus. Rus. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, at some point in this training, I need to start doing something to, uh, you know, 
solidify this data, start learning something, because I feel like I'm just going to continue taking shots at the dark and just continuing to be wrong, you know? So I have here a list of highway systems by country. And now, obviously, we don't have all countries here. We only have about 64 of them, which is uh, quite far from all of them. Um, but I think if we can get a good idea of the highway systems in at least, f I don't know, some of these, then I don't know. It's it's learning. It's It's got to be some amount of progress towards learning more, right? I mean, it's not going to make me learn less. In Albania, major cities are linked with either new single-slash-dual carriageways or well-maintained state roads marked as SH. There is a dual carriageway connecting the port city of Duras with Tirana, Vlore, and partially Kyux. Most rural segments continue to remain in poor condition as their reconstruction has only begun in the late 2000s by the Albanian Development Fund. Okay, good to know. Good to see. That's not. I really expected the dispute to, to. I really expected this to be kind of pointless, but I'm actually learning quite a bit already. Okay, about 1,390 kilometers of highways in Algeria are in service, and another 1,500 kilometers are under construction. I mean, if if we land on a road that's under construction, there's. It's not necessarily that there's a 50% chance we're in Algeria, but if we land somewhere in Algeria, there's a 50% chance, over 50% chance that it'll be under construction, so, you know, helpful. In contrast to Germany, according to a 2002 amendment to the Austrian Federal Road Act, Bundesstraßen is the official term referring to Bundesstraßen A and limited access roads, Schnellstraßen, Bundesstraßen S. <sighs> that gave me nothing. Just Bundesstraßen. Belgium has the second highest density highway network in Europe after the Netherlands at 54.7 kilometers per 1,000 kilometers squared. Most Belgian highways have three lanes, with a few exceptions like the ring roads around Brussels. With E numbers being used most often, roads that are part of a ring road around a city or a town are usually indicated by an, an R number. Of the highest priority in Bosnia and Herzegovina it coincides with A1 motorway. The construction works on the road have already begun, but intensified beginning of the construction with a key starter of economic and social activities and capacity totally about 30 kilometers. To be connected with the main European traffic network in these global European 20,000 kilometers. highways are divided into two types: regional highways, generally the remaining of less importance, and located entirely within a state. And XXX is a number, e.g., SP280, where SP means that the highway is running entirely in the state of Sao Paulo. Honestly, I dedicated any ounce of free time in the past 13 months to Google Maps and learning countries. So. Here we are. First thing I always tell people to learn is telephone poles, bollards. Learning what side of the road countries drive on is extremely important. Like Denmark has a yellow top, or you can go into more region guessing based off of like Canada. Well, Alberta has black, white, black, white bollards, or Australia and Turkey have similar bollards where it's like white with a, a red strip, or New Zealand has white with a red strip, but the red strip goes from end to end. It's worth mentioning all license plates are blurred, so you have to learn what blurred license plates look like. A lot of times it's easier when it's like a very distinct color, like yellow, where if it's yellow front and back, it's going to be Netherlands or Luxembourg. If it's yellow just back, it's going to be the UK or sometimes France. North Kyrgyzstan and South Kyrgyzstan were covered by different people to where one in the south was shorter, so the reflection of the camera on the mirror was at a different angle. So you would learn what percentage of the road you could see on the mirror. So you could tell you're in South Kyrgyzstan versus North. Soil guessing really goes into every single guess. But basically what you're looking at is you're looking at the color of the soil and overall the vegetation that's within the soil and around it as well. Is there more pebbles? Is there more grass? Is it more green? So when you're pinpointing, you're looking at things. The first thing always when you're pinpointing is to look down at the road and see what direction the road is going. So you can get the exact angle that the road is and then you can use that to reference the road angle on the map. All right, we're sticking with Chad guesses only, and the category is world again. So we could be anywhere in the world. And you know, I want to say that we're in Romania. I'm going to go somewhere near Bucharest, probably probably a, good, a decent guess, right? All right, that's 26 points out of 5K. All right, no sweat, no sweat, moving on. Moving along. Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Chechia. All right. All right. We're we're at least getting more 
You know, there's not at least an entire ocean between the guesses, you know what I mean? Canada is the second largest country in the world in terms of land area that it only has 1,350,581 kilometers of paved roads. This is far less highway and road distance than the United States, which is smaller, but has more than 6 million kilometers of paved roads and highways. However, Canada still has many more roads and highways than Russia, the largest country in the world in land area, with an estimated just 336,000 kilometers of paved roads. Well... Well, yeah, um, I, I almost, if Russia wasn't the last one, I'd probably guess Russia. It's in the south, so I think that means we're the northern hemisphere. I don't know, I watch a lot of GeoGuessers, and they say that uh, the sun matters, so apparently that means we're in the northern hemisphere, I guess. Or it's, I don't know, we'll go Italy. Fuck it, let's go just somewhere. Um, no, 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 no. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. We are Valentin Kumpel. Um, uh, 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 we are going boss mode on this shit. I want to say Mexico just because of the color. In fact, you know what? I, I'm, I'm already pretty, feel pretty good about guessing Mexico. Yeah, this is definitely Mexico. Just, I, I've, I, you know, I'm, I, it, I'm not going to start listing. I'm really, I don't know why I waited to record until they were doing landscaping at my complex. I think it's safe to go Mexico. I'm gonna just probably go maybe a bit northern Mexico, maybe up towards Monterey. Guadalajara feels like a good bet. Guadalajara. Hey, I was not far off. I was not that far. I was not that far. Okay, cool. Hey, we are getting there, kids. We are, I can feel my brain growing like fold by fold there's just little small folds implementing would you oh my god i like i you're just doing your job but like they're leaf blowing doing good you're doing good it seems like they're kind of just blowing them back and forth though you know what i mean all right well uh let's play again shall we oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. this is a hint this is a hint this is a hint. I think, okay, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I think we're in Northern Macedonia. I think we're in Northern Macedonia. God f fucking damn it. Highways in China more often than not refer to China National Highways. The fully controlled access multi-lane divided routes are instead called expressways. As of 2017, there were 5,980,000 kilometers of highways and 131,000 kilometers of expressways in China. Both total lengths are the longest in the world. It's a couple of rowdy teenagers on scooters and such. There's nothing that's making me feel too confident except for this is definitely America. And for the fact that I'm really fucking annoyed with the sound of leaf blowers right now. I would just go like Sacramento area, fuck it, whatever. It's probably California. It's, it's definitely America. All right, it was it was just near LA. Fine. Ritorno. Does that mean exit? Is this Italy? Oh, I want to say Italy now. Italy. That seemed like the Italian word for exit. Ritorno. Ritorno me to the road. Yeah, I'm going to go Italy. That up uh, up there on the hill that looks Italian. That looks Italian. Somewhere on the E45. Oh my god. Sao Paulo. So uh, well, we immediately want to say Russia, but also no. This these trees are way too pretty. You know, I kind of just want to go Tokyo. I kind of actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with uh, go with Osaka. Fugi. It was Tokyo. It was fucking Tokyo. I should have fucking. I should have. Chechia has 17 motorways. The construction of the earliest Trek highway between Prague and Bimo was initiated in 1939, was twice interrupted, and reached Bimo only in 1988. The Shaosek. This feels American. This does. This is definitely America. I'm gonna go Dallas. I'm gonna actually go Dallas, Texas. I'm gonna go Dallas, Texas. This feels like every fucking neighborhood in Dallas. Holy shit, dude. Okay, come on, come on. Come on on that one. That was the most, that was like the only Chad guess I have ever had. That's, ooh. I'm feeling good, I'm gonna go fucking jerk off. What streaks? 
beat your best streak. Let's go with U.S. state streaks. Let's see how. Let's see what kind of streak we can get, huh? Home Depot. All right. Well, this could be a lot of places in the U.S. You know what? I'm gonna go New Mexico. I'll go New Mexico. Arizona. All right. Your streak ended at zero states. All right. Well, let's try to beat that if we can. The stakes are high, or should I say, the states are high. That's not even really a pun. From Paris to major ports or border crossings, more recently, roads with a speed limit of 131 kilometers per hour or 81 miles per designated hour. Designated NH followed by a number. As of 2009, major cities in India. Montana. I'm just, it's a gut feeling. It was Utah. Still haven't been able to beat that streak yet. <laughs> now this is very obvious to me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around here. But the question is, which one? Let's go Texas. All right, that's what I'm talking about. We got a mile marker. All right, we're at mile 130. So that does give us quite a bit to work off of. Exit 130. Jesus fucking Christ, come on. Give me something to work with. Give me something to work with. What's this blue? It's just fucking businesses. Oh shit, there's a fucking, there's a, what the fuck is that? Chester's. The loves makes me think this is Texas, because that's like a northern Texas thing, right? Fucking, oh my god! Should have known, this random road in the middle of nowhere was fluid! <laughs> neg system is in but constant in recent development, most partnership, partnership, and more and more and more, and more such as in part such as in heart gun bush. <sighs> it's fucking New England. New England. What dumbass state in New England is this? What dumbass state... Fucking Massachusetts. Fucking Massachusetts. Uh, Missouri! It's Missouri! It's Jar if I fucking have to. Uh, sir? Yeah, we lost another one. You want me to terminate? Alright. 